Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, whatever time this video finds you. It's your boy Jay here, and we're back with another build video, all right? Today's weapon, the Gunlance, because it's just so interesting to play in the demo with the new bullet barrage. You know I had to do Gunlance next, man. So, um, yeah, for today, all the builds are actually relatively similar. Uh, because we're taking some assumptions with, you know, some of the Sunbreak stuff. So, uh, yeah, so what I really have done here today is I've taken um, a build for each type of shelling, right? So you can have a wide build, a long build, and a normal build. Cool? And we're going to start with the wide build, looking at this sexy-ass piece of work here, the Almadron Gunlance, okay? Let's dive right in, okay? Let's dive right in. Uh, let's go to Equipment Info. We got the Doombringer Gunlance, which is the Almadron Gunlance. Um, it's the wide shelling type. It's got shevel shelling level 5. Comes with a 2 slot and a 1 slot. Um, and uh, unfortunately, no white sharpness here. Okay, uh, But 178 attack and uh, 46 water, which doesn't really all matter all that much because the focus of these Gunlance builds are, are going to be shelling, right? With bullet barrage and how it works and, you know, uh, from what little we can tell from... You okay, Sasha? Anyway, from what little we can tell from how gun Gunlance is going to work in Sunbreak, the poking is going to matter less than hopefully the shelling, right? Uh, that being said, I don't know what wide shelling is going to do because, like, it's the stake works a little different, and like, typically, wide shelling gun lances have less shells, so you're not going to do as much damage per bullet barrage because there's not that many bullets to put in a barrage. You feel me? But um, it's going to be doing a lot of KO damage, and I'm I'm a fan of KO damage. You know what I'm saying? I'm a hammer man, so <laughs> I like I like KOs. But uh, yeah, comes with two slot, one slot. Uh, let's talk. Uh, let's see what I slot in here. Razor sharp and flinch free. Okay, so with these gun lance builds, uh, I'm foregoing my usual protective polish and I'm gonna go with razor sharp instead uh, the reason why I'm going with razor sharp instead of protective polish is when playing in the demo um, I actually found that the uh, the counter skill for Gunlance when it restores your sharpness I think it restores a bit more sharpness than it does in base rise so I found that I'm not actually sharpening this Gunlance a lot you know what I mean and uh, you know with all the shelling that's going on with bullet barrage it I think it's gonna be better for gun lancers to be running razor sharp rather than protective polish you know what I mean so yeah you're gonna be able to use that 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 little bit of sharpness you rest you restore per counter and I don't know if you've got a hunting horn with the sharpness song on plus razor sharp. I don't think you'll be dipping into uh, the lower sharpnesses as much as you would, especially with razor sharp on. I mean, level three, you're going to have 50% activation. So it's going to be, you know, you're going to lose the sharpness at half the rate it would, you know. But with all the bullet barrages going on, you're going to be you're going to be eating up sharpness, but you can get it back through the counter. So, you know, it kind of balances out, kind of balances out. So. With that being said, Utsushi Mask makes its appearance here for the other two points of Razor Sharp. Uh, spare Shot is here because it's leftovers. It's the Gunner equivalent, you know what I mean? Um, and then I got a Wirebug Whisper gemmed in there and a Reload Speed, okay? Now, Wirebug Whisper, <laughs> yeah, I think that's going to be uh, a real big skill looking at the way Bullet Barrage works. And I'm actually kind of worried that Gunlance is going to end up in the same kind of like hammer roll right where like the whole thing is based on a single move for hammer that was impact crater impact crater or bust like that's that's it like that's what the hammer's about in ride in base rise find your spaces where you can impact crater and i think in sunbreak hopefully not hopefully the balance is you know but know your spaces and know when you can bullet barrage that's it right but anyway moving on uh the rest of this is going to be the basil not Gius, Basil Juice, Jesus, every time, <laughs> Basil Goose, that's it, Basil Goose, golly, I don't know why I messed this name up, Basil Goose Mail, right, which is basically a godsend to uh, gun lancers looking at these skills, I mean, we got Guard Up and Agitator 1 on the, on the chest piece, we got Load Shells, Guard Up, Artillery, and I think I gemmed in a Weakness Exploit, no, I gemmed in, yeah, weakness exploit and the artillery probably. And then look at the coil. It's got a, a, another level of guard. I throw on two weakness exploit and loading shells comes with it. Um, and then on the greaves, I've got, you know, two artillery. 
Uh, it comes with guard and comes with two artillery, but I threw on a handicraft, right? Just to extend the amount of uh, blue sharpness we got. Now that I know that blue sharpness is gonna be viable, I mean, we had blue sharpness in the demo, and you know, Astalos, it got cut up by blue sharpness, so I'm using that as have blue sharpness or better in master rank, you know what I mean? Of course, white would be better, and purple is gonna be ideal like that's really what you want but hey we're just starting out and we don't have access to purple sharpness quite yet so boom we're gonna use the handicraft to extend the blue of this so that you don't have to actually pull out a whetstone as often right as the razor sharp and uh the mm, i think it's called guard edge yeah and the guard edges will keep you sharpened up for long for as long as you need right and the talisman <laughs> hey, the Evade Extender 3, uh, Fire S2 with a 3 and a 1 slot, makes its return here. Um, it's just so good. Uh, Evade Extender on Gunlands is incredible. Just because those hops, those little hops that you could do, they, they go from, I can't really use them to, oh, this is an actual decent reposition tool that isn't as committal as a Blast Dash. So, Evade Extender on Gunlands, highly, highly recommend it. But, um, yeah. That's going to be most of the builds. I think all of the builds look like this with different uh, gun lances so that they allow for different skills. Let's go to the chart mode. Let's go to the chart. Uh, so Max Wex, it's here because it's the best skill in the game. Um, and I know that like, oh, you can't crit your shells. This is a waste here. But like, you have to kind of poke in order to use your shells, right? You're gonna it's, If this is going to help the slams and the pokes, then hey, for three two slot points, you know, you can slot this in. Now, um, your preference, right? I mean, these builds are kind of just like a foundation, right? And, you know, that's the cool part about Monster Hunter, man. You can mess around with this. So, like, on this build, I only got one one level of Wide Bug Whisperer. You could say, man, I don't really care for no Wex uh, because I can't crit shells. I want all three Wide Bug Whisperers so I could do as many bullet barrages as possible. Be my guest. Say la vie do whatever it is you need to do you know what i'm saying that's why i do these videos just so you guys like have a baseline like oh okay this is what's kind of possible and I, I don't mind you guys swapping skills out for other skills that you deem more necessary than others right but um yeah these builds are, are forward thinking right i want to get you guys in the sunbreak with a comfortable build so you can hunt your first master rank armor you know comfortably you know what i'm saying i don't want you guys to be all oh my god i don't know what i should use for this weapon that's why i do this you know people have been telling me yo these build videos are crazy because I'm, I'm not using cookie cutter builds you know what i'm saying i make these myself you know so yeah wex is here and it's totally optional is basically the point before i went off on the tangent if you want to swap it out for another skill that's on here be my guest gun lance is a skill hungry beast so you know, we got to do what we got to do. Max Razor Sharp. Max Guard Up. I like Guard Up. I like just blocking stuff if I need to. You know what I'm saying? And the uh, the counter skill that um, that comes with, with Gun Lance respects your Guard Up, right? So if you don't have the Guard required to Guard an attack, um, then you won't be able to counter it. So, like, have the guard up so you can counter any and everything and if you really go for the counter and still get smacked just know that like okay that you just can't guard that you know what i'm saying that just is what it is but with guard up three you're going to be blocking almost everything so you could get the counter off get you a little bit extra sharpness and then you know go right into a slam and a full burst you know what i mean so artillery must have you must have this if you play gun lance. it's not a, it's not negotiable Artillery 3 must be on your build if you're playing Gunlands. I I don't make the rules. <laughs> I don't make the rules. All right. Uh, Evade Extender 3 comes through with that talisman, like I said. Um, you know, makes those hops uh, way, way easier to use. Okay. Like, before Evade Extender, the hops are like, okay, this is cool. Like, all right. But with Evade Extender, oh, baby, we hopping cross countries, baby. We, we hopping from U.S. to Mexico. We hopping from U.S. to Canada don't matter you know what i'm saying so and that this this turns those little hops into decent repositioning tools rather than like okay i just kind of use it to reset my combo no 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 evade extender is the truth trust me um speed sharpening three is here uh that way when you do need to sharpen up because inevitably you will full burst uh play style pl uh, plus bullet barrage play style 
you're inevitably going to eat through your sharpness faster than razor sharpness and your counter guards can hold hold on so is what it is uh handicraft two just so we can hold on to that blue <laughs> yep spare shots leftovers um guard just comes with the armor set right and like hey it's gonna reduce the amount of stamina that you take so uh yeah it's, it's just good to have it's just good to have and it comes with the armor set why not load shells need this need this look at level two gun lads loading capacity plus one you need that okay for full burst play style that's a whole extra shell for bullet barrage that's a whole extra shell you need that get load shells too if you're playing gun lance you already got this on and you already know i'm preaching to the choir but if you're you know looking at gun lance and you like the way bullet barrage was feeling in the demo you're like you know what maybe i will build a gun lance build you need load shells not negotiable right and then like uh the rest of this is um leftovers except for wild bug whisper and flinch free Flip is a one slot. You put it on so you can hunt online with other hunters without being tripped up all the time, you know, depending on who's in your party, is what it is. And then Wild Bug Whisper um, is going to become another mainstay skill on a lot of master rank builds. Um, I was only able to fit one in here, but like I said, you can trade out points of, for, uh, points of weakness exploit for Wild Bug Whisper, okay? Now, that is the wide, long uh, Gunlance build. I mean, if you really want to get KOs through getting Wyvern Stakes in the head, this is going to be the build for you. But honestly, I don't know, man. They got to give wide something else in Sunbreak so that they, so that they can keep up with long and, and normal, especially normal, because normal usually has a larger clip size. And uh, so the Bullet Barrage is going to do more damage because there's more shells in it, blah, 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 blah. You get where this is going, right? So that is the long build, or wide build. Let's move on to the long build. Oh yeah, the long build, the best long gun lance, man, and like it's low key. I mean, the howlitzer, right? This is the doggy gun lance. Hold on, let me let me put it. Yeah, roof roof is the doggy gun lance, man. So um, it, it's one of those like meme weapons in the game, uh, and it's funny that like gun lance has all the good meme weapons. Like their meme weapons are good, like the corn popper as a wide gun lance. It's really freaking good, but green sharpness, I can't send y'all into mass strength with green sharpness. Even with a weapon that ignores um, hit zones with shelling, I just, I can't do it. I'm not going to do that to y'all. I'm not going to do that to y'all. So if you want to use the corn popper, go for it. I ain't going to do that to you, okay? Anyway, the howlitzer is here. Let's uh, pull up the equipment, right? Howlitzer is here. Now, this has white sharpness. Mmm, okay. It's got good sharpness, um, 180 attack, and so, but it's only as a, uh, a one slot deco, and it's got, you know, the level five le uh, shelling type. Spoiler, all of the gun lances we talk about today have level five shelling. I want you guys to be putting out hella damage with the level five shelling. You know what I'm saying? Because bullet barrage plus full burst play style, you know I'm going with it. You know I'm going with it, right? Um, and it has 8% affinity because I think I put, yeah, affinity boost on it. You know, you know, you get some affinity here, you know. Not that affinity is super, super important, but hey, for the slams and the pokes, if I can, you know, boost the damage up of the slams and the pokes, then we will, right? Uh, and like I said, it's the same pieces as last time, but different slots, different slots. Even the same talisman, because that, that evade extender three <laughs> cannot live without it, right? So because it's the same, um, the same, like, pieces of armor uh we're, we're gonna be able to go through it pretty quickly the razor sharp is here with the utsushi mask um in the howlet sir i think i actually put in flinch free right it's just a little one slot um but up here i put in uh wild bug whisper uh, you know and it just comes with reload speed because you know it has to be equal and balanced for both gunners and uh blade masters right they, they got mixed um speed sharpening two guard up two agitator two on the male i think the guard up and the agitator come with it yeah so two speed sharpens um this i think i gemmed in artillery and weakness exploit here load shells and guard up come with it um once again two points of wax here load shells and guard come with it uh and then here i got another wild bug whisper in uh, along with the two artillery and the guard from the greaves and then in the talisman this time um, I put in a wild bug whisper again and a speed chartman with the level three bait extender So let's move on to the chart uh, max wex uh, max guard up max artillery Right artillery is not negotiable 
weakness to exploit for Gunlance is negotiable. I like having it. I like boosting the damage of my pokes and slams and, and you know, busting that crit when I can bust the crit. But, hey, it is what it is. If you want to take it out and get maybe the last point of Razor Sharp, you can. You know what I'm saying? If you want to take it out and maybe get the last piece of guard, you can. I like having I like having Wex, whatever. Um, and let's see. Sh this time I got Max Wire Bug Whisperer, right? So, hey. Bullet barrage is all day with this build, baby. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's going off. It's going down. Um, only two points of, of razor sharp, so it's half as effective as that uh, that last one. And like I said, you can take off a point of wex and just gem this in if you absolutely, absolutely have to have it. But we do have the level three speed sharpening to fall back on, so like it only takes one pass of a whetstone to resharpen anyway. So, you know, we're going to be all right. And plus, the Howitzer has decent sharpness off the rip anyway, right? You got a sliver of white. You got a decent amount of blue. And with the razor, with the razor sharp, you're going to be you're going to be able to hold on to it, you know, pretty long, pretty long. Um, so, yeah. And then the guard, the load shells, load shells, an extra shell. You need that. That's not negotiable. You need that. Have your load shells, okay? Uh, and then the rest of this is just kind of leftovers from various pieces. I mean, fire res is leftovers from the uh, charm. Uh, agitator comes from the mail. It's not leftovers because, like, when when the monster gets mad, you're gonna have a little bit more attack uh, and a little bit more affinity. But like, that doesn't scale with shells. So, come on, Capcom, get on it. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. So, like I said, most of these builds are gonna be pretty pretty similar. The the main difference here is going to be the shelling type, right? And the skills I was able to fit in based on the uh, slots of the gun lens, okay? Last, but most certainly not least, and this is actually gonna be like my main build I'm gonna be rocking with if I actually choose to use the uh, gun lance and you guys knew this you guys knew this was gonna be here if, you, if you're an avid gun lancer, you knew this gun lance was gonna be here, man. The Arachna Lance. Now, let me tell you why the Arachna Lance goes extra hard, doo-doo dummy in the paint. Arachna Lance, got white sharpness off the rip, a little bit of blue on top, right? And like, if you want to bust it up even further and go with some handicraft, there's room there. You know what I'm saying? So, food for thought. <laughs> uh, 180 attack, 27 fire. Man, the, the, the element's not really all that important. Normal type, level 5. Nice. Look at those slots. A 2 and a 1 and a 1. Okay, so on this, I have slotted in... Uh, a razor sharp, a stun resistance, and a flinch free. Okay, cool. Now, the rest of the build is the same. However, with the slots of the Arachna Lance being so crazy, I can get a razor sharp in right here. You know what I'm saying? With the Asuchi, my razor sharp needs are already taken care of, right? And then on the on the, the mail, I got the two speed sharpenings. I got the Wex and the artillery here. The two Wex right here. Uh, the Wild Bug Whisperer right here, okay? Uh, and then two artillery, two guard come with it, you know what I'm saying? And then another Wirebug Whisperer right here. And three Evade Extender. Cool. So, you know, looking at all of this, let's look at the let's look at the chart. So max wex, max razor sharp, max guard, max artillery, max evade extender, max speed sharpen, max wirebug whisper. We got all the skills on pretty much. Uh, only level two guard, but really what you're looking for is guard up so you can block more attacks, right? And then guard makes you like better at actually blocking. So, you know, I prioritize guard up more than I prioritize guard. Load shells, max, it's not negotiable. We already talked about this. Um, and then fire res, agitator, you know, the rest of this is kind of leftovers, except for the stun res and the flinch free. Threw on the stun res because I had an extra one slot because the arachna lance is so cool. It's got hella slots on there. I was like, Psh, let me just throw this stun res on there. That way, when I'm getting pieced up by a monster when I shouldn't be, I'm not stunned for a long time. I can shake out of it quick. And then the flinch free is um, here so that you can take this build online and get knocked around and not really mind it, right? So, yeah, those are the three builds. This this video is a little, a little on the shorter side for a build video because, I mean, the, the, the basil goose, basil goose? Basil Goose. The Basil Goose mail, I mean, set is a, is a godsend to um to Gun Lancers. I mean, the Basil Goose set is, is just godlike. Like, 
if you're gonna use gun lands, you're gonna be using basal pieces. It's that's just how this works. You know what I mean? Um, so grab your best talisman. I like a Vade Extender, but I I understand that maybe you have uh, a good Wirebug Whisperer talisman you can use, and then get your Vade Extender all throughout the slots through here. You know what I mean? So yeah. I chose to go for the Evade Extender because, hey, it's got good slots on there. I was able to slot in the Wirebug Whisperer. And then I use this because it gives me two Razor Sharp and a Wirebug Whisperer, which are all skills that are going to be in use. Um, so, yeah, instead of the Protective Polish like I usually do. So, uh, you know, video's a little short, but it's a little different than what I usually do. Usually I'm a Protective Polish kind of guy, but with Gunlance... Uh, it's a little different. It's a little different because you're you're gonna spend less time actually sharpening because of that you know that that counter that you got and um, you know with the shells going off uh, with the you know whittling away your sharpness you might as well just have it on you know you might as well just have razor sharp instead of the protective polish because yeah unlimited sharpness for 90 seconds is cool but I think throughout the hunt having half your sharpness go down as you use it it's going to be a little better and it's going to allow you to use um you know more more bullet barrages and more full bursts you know what i mean so yeah that's gonna be today's video i just want to go to the the training the training place and blast dash around right quick before i sign out you know what i'm saying gun lance is gonna be hella fun hella fun in the demo man i just know it and um I just hope that Wide Lance is gonna be able to keep up because I don't know. With with having all this ammo in normal and long shells, you know, wide wide gun lancers. I don't know man. I hope y'all I hope y'all get something. I hope wide gun lancers get something. But there's a build for each of you here to uh, to explore. So yeah, before I head out, don't forget to subscribe down below right uh hit me with comments tell me if you're gonna use any of these builds uh what alterations you made with these builds if you did use a build um just let me know talk to me i'll respond to each and every comment that hits this video and uh as always people happy happy hunting less than seven days left until we get to sunbreak oh my god i'm so hyped I'm so hyped, man. Happy, happy hunting indeed. And uh, I look forward to creating more and more content for you guys when Sunbreak hits. Oh, oh, let me let me put this out there. Let me say this. And then this this will be my for real sign off, okay? Um, for those of you subscribed here, I will be doing my best to go out of my way not to spoil you guys, okay? So if I'm going to be uh, talking about a monster that was not revealed uh, through Capcom's hype cycle leading up into Sunbreak, I'm going to be blacking out the silhouette of the monster. And what I'm going to actually be using is, um, I hope it's ambiguous enough, but like, you see these little square, these little square icons right here? Like this, right? Like Volvidon. If I black this out and said, you know, oh, I'm fighting this monster, you wouldn't know what the hell I'm fighting. But if you played the game and saw this artwork, You'd be like, oh, he's hunting this, you know? So I'm hoping that these type of pictures will be ambiguous enough um, for you guys. So, like, let's say, uh, hypothetical, let's say Devil Joe's in the game. I'm going to make a video about Devil Joe. <laughs> Duh. So I'm going to take this artwork of Devil Joe, right, the Hojo artwork. Is his name? Yeah, the Hojo artwork and black it out. And that's going to be, like, the thumbnail. Uh, and I'm gonna have some ambiguous title like oh my god he's really here you know I'm trying to you know still clickbait y'all I'm still trying to get y'all to click on the video but I do not do not do not want to spoil people through my thumbnail so I'll be taking these artworks because I think they're ambiguous enough like that's okay that's kind of obvious that's a rejang but if it's too obvious I'll take some different pose I'll make sure it's not super 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 duper obvious just so I don't spoil people with the thumbnails, okay? I had to get that out there. I had to tell you guys that um, that's how I'm going to be handling thumbnails henceforth. So um, on this channel, please, please keep me around. Don't don't block me. Don't hide me because I'm going to be doing my best and going out of my way to make sure I don't spoil people with thumbnails, okay? And uh, with that being said, <laughs> let me actually sign off, y'all. Happy, happy hunting. Peace.